Sponsoring today's video, we have GBG Mall. Now with their new Black Friday promotion, where you can use my SKG discount code and get 30% off, making your Windows 10 Pro only $13. After getting the key, you'll have it in your profile, and all you need to do is go to your Windows settings, and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, I should give plays. I'm Fabio Pisco and, and welcome to my channel. So before going into today's video, just don't forget to watch my previous video of the Ryzen 5 5600X versus the i5 12600K. The results are very interesting and I'm using DDR4 instead of DDR5, so I think that most most results will be interesting in some way or another, even the power draw one. So check it out before going into this video if you can. Now for this video we have the usual AMD Adrenaline Drivers review, in this case the 21.12.1. As I say in all my videos. As I say in all my videos, 21 is the year 2021, almost finishing. 12 is the month in that year, so December and one is the revision in that same month, so the first revision of December. And well, before the release notes, let me just tell you that, as you see in the title, these drivers are great, but not perfect. But let's start with the release notes and I will tell you some of the problems I found with these drivers in the end of the release notes, okay? Oh, wait, and before that, we also had the previous special drivers for Halo, which were the 21.40.3.1, okay? And some people think that these drivers are the same, so the 21.40.3.1, which is an internal number, and the 21.12.1, and well, at least from my experience, they aren't exactly the same. Now let's go to the release notes. We have support for Halo Infinite, with up to 17% increase in performance uh, at 4K Ultra settings with the RX 6900 XT, comparing to the 21.11.3 drivers, up to 19% in the same scenario, but now with the 6800 XT, and up to 16% exactly in the same scenario, but with the 6700 XT, okay? Um, but this d does not apply only to this card, so does not apply only to the 6900 XT, 6800 XT, and 6700 XT. It applies to most cards like you saw, for example, in the previous video of the 21.40.3.1 drivers, okay? so. It applies to the 5700 XT, it applies to several drivers, and no, I don't test it with Halo in these drivers because I do not have Halo, and I know it is free, but I just don't have it, okay? But I have other games, um, uh, and like I said in the previous video, some channels already have those tests done, so yeah, you can watch them. We also have somehow support for Fortnite, like it wasn't supported before, maybe a new season. Also support for Icarus, or Icarus, I don't know, sorry, but from what I've seen of this game, some someone commented that I should test this game, and I went and watched a bit about about uh, the gameplay and so on. It seems very promising in terms of graphics, gameplay, and so on. So you should look it out because it seems actually very interesting. We also have support for Blender 3 on Raiden RX 6000 graphics. Okay, nice. As for the fixed issues, we have some, so for example, while running Stream VR Home on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon 7 graphics, some users may experience a crash. Fixed. During Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy gameplay, some users may experience driver timeouts on some AMD graphics products such as the RX 5500 XT graphics. So this, um, this was a problem persisting for at least like 3 or 4 drivers. Uh, with the 5500 XT in the Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, and it seems to be fixed finally, okay? After three or four drivers of, um, of the problem being acknowledged, it is now fixed. Thanks. Another fixed problem was also one persisting for a while, and it is, while playing player unknowns battlegrounds with multiple displays connected in extended mode, Radeon software may become unresponsive when the user is in the lobby and attempts to open Radeon software on the secondary display via the context menu. This was also a, a problem, an issue persisting for like three or four driver versions, and it is also fixed now. So, pe so people playing PUBG, you're good to go now.
Visual corruption may be observed on a vehicle's logo or license plate number while playing Forza Horizon 5 on some AMD graphics products such as the RX 5000, 500, sorry, RX 500 series graphics. So if you have an RX 570, RX 580, and if you have this problem, it is supposed to be fixed by now. So leave in the comment section if you had this problem, leave a comment in the comment section telling me if it is me and us, of course, if it is fixed or not. As for the known issues, we actually don't have many. Yeah, uh, okay, I have many, I, I have some for you that aren't in the known issues, but at least the list of the known issues aren't many, okay? Aren't much. The first one is, after upgrading to the latest Radeon software, the power tuning component of a saved tuning profile may not load correctly when a user imports a previously saved tuning profile. So. It may be uh, a problem in between versions and I, I did notice that, I did notice for example on my mining profile uh, which was made with previous drivers and it wouldn't just stick with the RX 5700 XT while for example the overclocking, the normal overclocking profile would work fine. I don't know why but maybe that's why it is in the known issues, okay? And sync. 2015 is the year. I'm, I must stop with all the blinking in these videos. Yeah. Just do it! And the last one is another one which is fairly known and is the Raiden performance metrics and logging features may intermittently report extremely high and incorrect memory clock values. So this is also one that persists for like 10 driver versions and it is still here. Uh, as for the enhanced sync, it, it persists for like 100 driver versions, so <laughs> I mean, what's 10 compared to to 100? Now, as for my experience with these drivers, I found out that these drivers are, like I said once again, they are great but not perfect, and there are some issues that kind of bug me. Okay, so the first one is the fact that the Radeon the Radeon settings somehow just close from time to time they just close. You go there, you open the performance tab and it closes up, reboots the, the application. You go enter on it, it is fine after like 10 minutes maybe you go there again and it closes up again so yeah I can't explain that, it, it, it's just an error. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't happen with the 21.11.2 and it doesn't happen with the 21.11.2. Uh, point three, but it does happen for example with the 21.40.3.1 That's why I say they are variants of each other, but they are not completely equal. Okay, but they are indeed very similar Okay, uh, the other one is the broken fan profiles um, So basically at least on my i5 PC that you see here uh, the, the the fan profiles are just broken on the 5700 XT at least um, not on the 6800 but yes on the 5700 XT so even if I limit the um, even if I limit for example the max fan profile the max fan speed for let's say 40% it won't work if I limit to 20% it won't work it will be like always at 100% and it is only when I go to the advanced options and select a manual fan profile that it just starts working okay but if I use the automatic settings with a max RPM limit it just won't work I need to set things manually and in that scenario it works the third problem that I found is something that's that also happens with the 21.40.3.1 drivers uh, and it is the washed out colors in video so for example when you're opening a video with media player classic for example in your computer your windows media player your photos app whatever it will just have washed out colors okay instead of having the vivid colors that it should have it has washed out colors a way to fix it for example with the media player classic is just to use another renderer instead of using the default renderer you can simply use MadVR renderer instead of the enhanced renderer of the media player classic that would fix it but I mean it shouldn't happen it's a problem okay and well guys that's it for today's video uh, my cat is like looking at me right there like what the hell is he saying <laughs> and yeah that's all for today's video guys thanks a lot for watching don't forget to hit like subscribe and share this video because that's really important 
Don't forget, leave your comment in the comment section, leave your like of course, leave your comment in the comment section and let me know what's your experience, let me and the others know what's your experience with these drivers. For me, we have great performance in some games and a bit less performance in others, but overall, yeah, great, but not perfect. See you in the next video, guys. Thank you.